A mysterious illness affecting children thought to be tied to the coronavirus is now blamed for at least three deaths. Dozens of other patients have contracted it. Senior medical correspondent Dr. Tara Narula looks at the new concern for a population thought to be less at risk. This does not present as a normal COVID case. COVID cases tend to be respiratory. This it presents as an inflammation of the blood vessels. A warning from New York Governor Andrew Cuomo as the state investigates at least 85 cases of what many are calling pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome. Officials say it has killed at least three children in New York. In many cases, children did not have respiratory issues, instead experiencing abdominal symptoms, change in skin color or chest pain. What we're seeing is the immune system's actually going into overdrive impacting the, the body in a negative way. Some of these patients are having inflammation of their coronary arteries, and you can have basically a heart attack. Dr. Jake Kleinmahan is a pediatric cardiologist at Oxner Hospital for Children. He has already treated several children for this illness, including 12-year-old Juliet Daly. We spoke to Juliet and her mother last week about her harrowing trip to the hospital. Her heart was not functioning. Her heart was inflamed. Um, so badly that the conduction system was not working in her heart, so it was barely pumping. She was in heart failure. Hospitals in at least six states have reported seeing similar cases. The illness is so concerning, New York City issued a health alert about it last week. If you're not really aware of um, the syndrome that's, that's being described, it could easily, easily be missed. Fortunately, children overall are, are very resilient in almost all of the cases, and if we're able to knock down the inflammation and get them past the, the beginning stages of this, they're usually doing very well. Experts say this illness bears some resemblance to a rare condition called Kawasaki disease. Governor Cuomo says his state's health department will work with the CDC and the New York Genome Centers to study the illness. Tara, this is so scary. How, how rare is this, and what should parents be looking for? Well, Anthony, I do think it's important to stress that in the grand scheme of the pandemic, this is rare. We're still learning a lot more about it, but the important thing for parents is if their child does have the prolonged high fever, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, change in the color of their skin or their lips or chest pain, that's something they should act on quickly because in many of these cases, the kids have decompensated or deteriorated very quickly. So important to call your doctor if you notice any of those. Dr. Tara Narula, thanks, Tara.